Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Charles Young, also known as Open Thoughts. Hey, follow me on OpenThoughts.com. That's Open T H O T S dot com. Um, got a special guest here to talk to you guys. How he's showing how he's um becoming where he needs to go. He's finding ways to find where he's trying to go in his life, trying to grow. So you just want to talk a little bit about some of the things that he's doing and how he's growing. So why don't you tell them who you are? I know they most know us. From the beginning, we started this. We started this gangster stuff. <laughs> so go ahead, tell them what you're doing, man. What you are. So my name is Chris Rhymes, also known as Chocolate Man. You can follow me on Twitter at K Rhymes is Art, Facebook and Instagram is the same as well. And what we're gonna be talking about growing, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna tell you guys a little bit about what I'm doing. Since the past, we've done the black address, and it's been a while. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to explain to you guys of what I'm doing now. And I'm pretty much growing within the art industry, myself as an artist, myself as a person. I, my paintings are getting a lot better just from my ways of eating. I'm now a vegetarian. I add a little fish to it, so I don't know if you should call it a vegetarian. But, you know, the main thing is that I'm eating well, and it helps my mind to... Um, to really be open, open mm -hmm. and create things from a broader scale. Um, I have some shows coming up. I've done shows in Orange County. I did my first solo in December. I've had a few interviews. You know, things are going quite well. Um, September 6th, I'm doing a show in uh, Santa Ana, a three-day event, and you know, it's crazy how that happened, but it just came about the faith and me putting all my work and effort into things and watching things manifest. Um, November 1st, I'm doing my second solo called Sweet Kids Art Exhibit. It's going to be at the Arpella Contemporary Art Gallery on 3rd Avenue in McDowell in Phoenix, Arizona. And the show is from 7, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m., it's going to be a great show. Invite family, friends. Um, there is no age limit. And um, the event is free as well. So be able to come out. And I wanted to also discuss that it's a, uh, it's a contest as well. So me, Chocolate Man, I'm honoring 22 kids with exceptional achievement through scholastics, sports, um, performing arts, visual arts, um, community service, you know, etc. And the age ranges from 5 to 12 years of age. You can apply, you can put them in by submitting it to sweetkids145 at gmail.com. Um, submit an entry of what your child or relative is about, 10 sentences or more, why they should be in it, explaining their talents, who they are, their self-worth, and what they have to offer. You can also um, submit videos, um, images of awards, accomplishments, um, videos of their talent as far as singing or community service. Um, hell, even arts as well. You can actually send videos of what they do. So the main purpose of this show is to get the community involved, get kids involved, let them know that there's more to offer in this world. And we're also going to discuss about that. All right, so, so my question to you is, is that what got you here? What is, some people probably think, you know, you, you call upon certain things to get here. What did you do to get to this point? What started you off give, getting the confidence that you needed to get to this point? Man, it... It pretty much started with me just believing in myself, man. It, that's the main key and understanding who you are as a person and what you have to offer. There's a lot of people that walk out in today that have no clue or understanding of who they are and what they are worth. And it's important to know this because that will help you guide yourself to what the things you need and the things you want. Or Other than that, you'll just be scattered all over the place not having a clue of what you want to do. So I think that's the first step in getting you to the right path is understanding your worth and who you are. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, provided you the confidence to do it by learning, trying to understand yourself. So you, from how it sounds is, is you had to 
from how it sounds, it sounds like you had to draw away from certain things. What were some of the things, mainly, I know you said that food was the main thing. And how did the food affect you to change you to the person you are now? So, um, The food is a main key because the, anything you put in your body has a lot to do with how you think, how you act, and you know how... Um, how you think of yourself as well because you are what you eat yeah so it's important to have a healthy body have a healthy mind because this all plays into what you do in this life um just myself as a creator i have to have a healthy mind because all creations come from thought mm -hmm. and so it's important to have um a healthy body and a healthy mind and a a good way of eating because it has a lot of what you do today. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be lazy, you don't want to be drowsy, depressed, stressed out because you know a lot of that plays a big part in how we think and how we want to do things. There's certain times where you don't want to do something because you're stressed out, you're depressed, or you're tired, or you're um, drowsy, you're lazy. But a lot of people don't realize it has a lot to do about what you're eating. So mm -hmm. it's very it's a big important part of life. Mm -hmm. So so yeah so I mean as you can tell that food is a big um, important part of changing who you are and learning who you are. I, I understood the same time as going through with food and trying to find find the right things to eat and the right diets in the right ways that I had to extract away from a lot of stuff that wasn't that just wasn't healthy for me. A lot of this stuff changed your the way that you uh, eat, uh, I mean, a lot of stuff changes the way you think. You know, you're more depressed and you take on the energy of that the animal. Now, I'm not telling you to you have to go to be a vegetarian or vegan, whatever. There's all these other options out there. It's just know what you're eating and what you're consuming. The main thing is, what I learned is exercise and get away That's from the important. and get away from the processed food. Once you're able to get away from most of that stuff, that I know everything's got something in it, but for the most part, once you get away from those two things, you can actually live a healthier life. Mm -hmm. And the more exercise you get inside your body, that's the better. It's beneficial to your body and the success of you. As you can tell, he said that his mind, he understood the fact that eating right goes to, it has to attach some form to the mind. And since it attaches to his mind, it helps him be more creative, alert, and aware for the most part. Yeah, so. very alert. And I've noticed even within my artwork that I became a lot more detailed. But that comes from concentrating more. If you concentrate more on your detail and your work, that's a that's a big part of what I eat as well. Not the art, <laughs> <laughs> but far as I'm getting mixed up. Far as the food I eat, it has a lot to do with how I create. Because there was a time, you know, I wasn't so detailed, but now from my ways of eating, it helped me to concentrate and be focused more on what I'm trying to, you know, create on the canvas. So mm -hmm. it's a it's a big part, especially people too. People has a lot to do with health, your health. Because if you're if you are around negative people, then you will get negative things. This is you'll have a negative mind. So it's important to be around positive people that are trying to do something because you attract that energy and you also it's like a I don't know, you're like absorbing it. You yeah. take you take on that um that same energy yeah you become like a sponge when you sponge. take on people's stuff mm -hmm. and it's just the same way as when you're doing something in that certain field you'll start attracting individuals who are who are associated with that field that you're trying to get into mm -hmm. whatever it may be and you know you absorb their energy and it gets you excited and you want to do more with that individual and you know your creative skills it you know it just increases so i mean I understand exactly what you mean. Um, that's how we got to the point that we got yeah, because, from exchanging. yeah, from exchanging thoughts, and we both was trying to sit on the same lines and grow instead of you know staying to, uh, um, staying stuck and 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 stationary in a position in a place that's just continuously growing and evolving and rotating around us. So I mean, we you know we but we met each other because we both had similar energy to one another. And now we're sitting in these situations where we're creating and trying to change, not trying, changing the way society is being seen. So um, that's a good way to see it. So go ahead. You have the last words. 
Um, my last words to people is focus on what you want in life. Don't focus on what others want because we all have a life to live and they're, they're not in your shoes. So it's important to get advice, get wisdom, get knowledge, but it's also important for you to have control of your own life and the things you want. Also, know who you are in life because if you don't, you will be lost. And that's what I that's what I have to say, man. Yeah. That's important. So thank you guys. Thank you, Chris, coming back, doing this. You know, it's been a while, it's been a long time, but you know, I understand he's busy, I'm busy, we gotta do our things. But we thank you guys for watching this. Make sure you tune in. Um, before we go again, give them the more inf uh, give them small details of how they can reach you again. Um, you can reach me at um, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at K Rhymes is Art. Um, also, go on to the event page on Facebook called uh, Sweet Kids Art Exhibit Showcase. You can get more information on the show and the times. And if you have any concerns, you can message me as well. And my website is um, www.chrisrhymes.com. And that's it. All right, so we thank you. And like I always say, you have a good one.